Hello ladies and gents and welcome back to another Loki reaction as today I'll be reacting to the season finale for, as I said, Loki and as you can see I still don't have my lighting set up which is why I'm doing it in here and not in the usual uh, location that I record videos in but without further ado I just want to hop right into it. <sighs> Let's watch Loki. You know, it wouldn't be a true Loki season finale reaction if I wasn't wearing the good old BVS shirt and I wasn't eating dino nuggets while watching it. So, you know, this reaction's legit. You know, I'm calling it right now. I think Miss Minutes is running everything. I'm telling you, throughout the show, I'm just not liking the tone of her voice. Very suspicious. Very. Oh! It's the last song from a song from the end of Endgame. I like the song a lot, actually. Hmm. Very interesting. Why are we hearing all these moments from the MCU movies? I do not know, but we will find out. Skadoosh. Yo, is this a season finale or am I tripping? Oh my gosh, it's Hogwarts. Oh, not the usual Loki theme. Interesting. So all of this was inside of that Mufasa looking cloud. Hmm. Interesting. I was pruned before you even existed. I have been waiting for this moment my entire life. I just need a second to get my head straight, okay? Sure. Of course. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what I say? Miss Minutes. That evil clock. He who remains. He created all, and he controls all. At the end, it is all- Watch it be the guy who was playing Galaga. We can reinsert both of Gal- Look at these clowns pulling out swords against a clock. A bunch of weenies. I swear they better not cheat us on who's running this thing. I'd be very upset. I'm gonna shut off the computer. And eat my dino nuggets in anger. It's not gonna be him. It'll be some random dude. Might be the janitor. This is why. There's gonna be like some giant monster thing. She still calling me out. Creepy. Well, looks like my light died again, but nothing like a like some contrast there, you know. So. <sighs> Watch they just I don't know like a fart thing. What is it called? The fart balloon things. I already know what's going to happen. See? It's a long script. Alright. Try number two, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, excuse me. I'm getting this wrong. It's too great. Fine. I think he's going to kill her. I think he's gonna kill her, Jon Snow, and uh, what's her face? What's the redhead? You know nothing, Jon Snow? So be like that. Okay, maybe not. Maybe the roles will reverse. I felt what you feel. You don't know how this feels. All I know is I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to give you up. All I know. I just want you. I don't want to hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was a nice little sweet moment. Oh. Aren't you gonna beg for your life? Um. He's got a million other ones. I don't think he was lying. I'm telling you, people who don't watch these Disney Plus shows are going to be lost. Lost. Even I'm a little confused and I'm watching this show. <laughs> I'm like, wait, so, so they do that and the free wheel thing? And that's like, it's a lot of expo explanation. A lot of explanation. A lot of stuff in this episode. A lot of stuff being explained. I feel like I was in class. Still got like a solid couple minutes left though. And I hear there's a post credit scene. You smell something too? 
Man, that guy is sweating. Loki is sweating. He planned everything. He's seen everything. He knows everything. It's complicated. It is complicated. Countless okay. <laughs> different boots on the ground now, archives. Who are you? Huh? I'm confused. Did he go to another TVA or something? Another timeline? <laughs> well, at least they waited for the post credits. Or the, yeah, the post credits. The credits. End credits. Goodness gracious. Can't even talk. But, uh, let's watch the end credits scene now. And the horror lighting. Hmm. <laughs> that was pretty, pretty clever idea. Alright, so an entire season of Loki in the books. Now, I do apologize because there was a part of the reaction that I just couldn't load in for some reason. I don't know why, but I was able to get the best parts, the best parts of the episode, you know, the big major moments. So there is that. Now, let's talk about this season of Loki. Uh, I do think that this is the weakest uh, show that we've gotten so far from the MCU on Disney+. Plus. But I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. I think that some of the new characters that they've introduced, like Mobius and Sylvie, are very good and have lots of potential in the MCU going forward. And I think the relationships with Loki was also quite good. Uh, now, I do think that this final episode was a little weak for me, to be honest with you. It was just a lot, a lot, a lot of explaining in this episode. It felt like I was in class listening to like a, a meh like a so-so lecture of the multiverse. I mean, luckily, the, the, the what was the guy's name? The, the, the one who remains, at least he was pretty entertaining when he spoke, and it's gonna be pretty intriguing to see where they go forward with that character. And I do think the end end of the episode, that little cliffhanger there, was also quite good. But to me, I just felt like this episode was a bit of a drag at parts because there was just so much explanation. I get it, I know you have to explain the multiverse, but I don't know, just for me, it was a lot of explaining, a little too much for me, in my opinion. But like I said, overall, I enjoyed the show. We got some good new characters that hopefully we get to see more of. I'm sure we will, especially that we're getting a second season of Loki. And yeah, those are my thoughts of the entire season and the finale of Loki. Tell me down in the comment section below of what you think of Loki and don't forget to like and subscribe because that is very important. You can also follow me at the one man crew 68 on Instagram or at a D to movie man on Letterboxd or Twitter. And as always in every single video, look out for the next video or review and peace.